Hello everyone, welcome back to Aussie Starcraft. We've been casting games from the uh, Red Bull Battlegrounds that took place last week. We've reached the semi-finals and for this best of five series in the bottom right hand corner is our blue Protoss. We have SKMC. In the top left hand corner is our red Protoss. We have Parting. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Parting, Parting's one of one of the great uh, Protoss players in the world currently. It's had a fantastic year. Obviously, last year was also a good year for Parting, managing to win the 2012 Battle.net World Championship, netting a cool $100,000. Uh, he's recently had uh, quite, quite a good number of uh, podium finishes, performing well in IEM and a number of other events, including the Cyber Games. So, Parting, very good Protoss player in his own right, so we should have a fairly uh, exciting PvP matchup here on our hands in Frost. Now, for s some reason, the uh, optimal worker uh, function isn't actually working on this replay. I've, I've checked, and it, it is currently enabled, but uh, for some reason, doesn't seem to be displaying. So uh, we'll have to have to play it by ear. MC going for a gateway first opening, so is Parting. So. It's fairly fairly standard in the PvP matchup. Uh, you tend to hear the expression in PvP: the Protoss that expands first loses, and as a result, things like the Forge Fast expand have sort of fallen by the wayside in this matchup. Mainly Gateway first openers. We we have Parting throwing down both his gases now. MC uh, throwing down one slightly ahead of the other. Interesting to see if these uh, two players manage to mimic each other, or if we get uh, different sort of uh, tech tech choices out of either of them. So, parting going for two workers in each gas. Similarly, MC when we when he throws another worker over into the gas, and there we go. Both both players are mining gas at about the same rate. Cyber cores likewise coming up at the time, uh, coming up at the same time. Now we do have these players that cross spawn on Frost, which which does make for quite a large rush distance between these two bases. So I'd be surprised if we have a whole lot of uh, early aggression out of these two. Neither of them going going for any uh, crazy sorts of uh, cannon rushes or proxy gateways. But Parting already are uh, starting to establish his his proxy pile on here. MC going to scout out, realise that his opponent isn't in the bottom left. Oh, Parting actually proxying a Stargate straight off the bat, so it looks like uh, right after I say there'll be no proxy gateways, Parting decides to mix it up with a proxy Stargate. Now the question is, will it will he be producing an Oracle out of this, or will it in fact be a Void Ray or, or something else? It's important to note, when MC gets up to his opponent's base, he isn't going to be able to see that tech hidden out on the map as it is but uh, a player of MC's calibre might, might or oh no, Parting's got his stalker out so it looks like Parting will deny MC the scout which is very important, a player of MC's calibre will be able to click on these gas geysers and realise that there's a 500 mind between the two geysers and will know that that gas isn't, isn't in play in the tech that can be seen in the base but Parting doing a great job managing to deny that scout. M MC MC stalker out here on the map, having a bit of a poke around. Parting uh, taking the watchtower with one and hiding his worker down, but perhaps for a second proxy pile later on. We do have an oracle just finishing up now, and uh, MC doesn't actually have anything currently in play at his base. If he's not careful, we may actually actually see these gateways. Yep, yep. War transferring to warp gate so this this oracle may well get a few seconds of uninterrupted uh, fun in the mineral line two stalkers now being warped in parting managing to get six kills on this oracle and, and take no damage to boot so that's quite a impressive little bit of harass if we check the income tab you can see there's quite a differential now between parting and mc so seven work is quite a, quite a difference, particularly in a PvP, which is traditionally such a tight and volatile matchup. MC knows that he's he's got to do something now. His five stalkers starting to move forward here. Parting throwing up some pylons here. Not, not entirely sure what what his plan is from here. He does have three gates and not not producing anything else out of the stargate. So MC pretty pretty relentlessly charging forward with these stalkers. Though we, we do have fairly even numbers of stalkers on the field from each player. 
where is that where is that oracle nicked off to from oh looks like MC must have cleaned up the oracle must have missed that sorry guys we have stalkers coming in now for uh, sorry zealots coming in now from MC parting forced to uh, force backwards across the map but uh, parting now at the stalker advantage three of M's MC Zealots charging fearlessly towards the enemy base. Oh, already three. In. So this could cut off Parting's income quite substantially. It looks like uh, looks like Parting's instead going to go for the base race here. Do we have a mothership core on the field for Parting? And no, it appears that we don't. So that's uh, unfortunately something that's not going to be able to par help Parting save his base. And MC's thrown down a force field to uh, prevent parting from making up his ramp and with the number of sentries here we could have an almost indefinite number of force fields so is a nice base race scenario for MC he knows he has to do some serious damage here to equalize the equalize the pain he took from that first oracle managing to take out the nexus of parting parting with no minerals left to expand this this could be it for uh, he's now expand he's now marching straight into the main base of MC, but it, it may be too little too late here. There's a few zealots warped in to try and help this parting now being revealed. We we have a force a force field being forced there by MC against parting, but it's actually holding out MC's own stalkers. Oh no, parting must have thrown that down. He, d he did have a sentry hidden there in the middle. Photon overcharge there from MC is is going to force these stalkers away and un unfortunately for parting it looks like our MC might be taking the upper hand initially in this series so we might be looking at a one all win from e one all lead for MC if parting can't uh, can't pull something out of the out of the hat here parting being revealed no minerals left to expand there's, there's a proverbial clock on this match as this as these zealots hack away at, at the pylon and remaining structures Parting here, forced to try and uh, survive on the ed edge of MC's base, but MC constantly warping in units. Only one mining, albeit with only seven workers. Can can Parting make something happen here? I, I think the writing may be on the wall. Nice force fields there from MC, going to trap one of those stalkers and allow him to pick it off. Parting trying to micro these stalkers as best he can, but the zealots just absorbing so much so much stalker firepower here. Mothership core still not still not going down, and Parting forced a GG out of the game. So, I think that that game's a great showcase of just how volatile the PVP matchup was. Proxy Stargate doing great damage for Parting, but unfortunately, MC able to march across the map and and uh, smack Parting Parting up with a few zealots and stalkers. So, MC able to take a 1-0 lead in this series. Will he be able to? continue uh, stomping his way through to the finals or will uh, parting have an answer for this we'll find out shortly in game number two thanks for tuning in guys we'll see you in the next cast